Alright, what's up guys? Finally making a legitimate tutorial on how to do MK4 Jetta retrofits. Um, what a retrofit is, you have a projector, uh, like you see in the later model cars, Lexus, Mercedes, um, that are going to concentrate the beam of your HID kit, concentrate the beam of your light, give you a nice cutoff. So, what I have here is um, my light taken apart. Um, I got these for about 20 bucks. Um, obviously, the full headlight uh, for 20 bucks off Craigslist from some guy locally who didn't need them anymore. Um, I took them apart. That you guys can look in a separate video to see how to take them apart. Um, pretty easy process. You got to put them in the oven, bake them for like five minutes, pull them out, and then pull them apart. Um, what you're going to need next is a Dremel. Um, this is just a Dremel 200. It's the lowest quality one that they have or the lowest speed. Um, nothing crazy, just something to trim the back of the light out with. You're also going to need, obviously, um, projectors. Now, these range in price. Mine happen to be LS460 uh, Lexus projectors. They're the widest um, possible glass eye that you can get. <clears throat> You're also going to need a PVC 4-inch to 3-inch reducer. This is going to be the shroud that goes over your, uh, your your projector, okay? That's what's going to be the coupling between the projector and the headlight itself, okay? Next, you're gonna need some sandpaper. That's gonna be to ground down um, and sand the inside of the headlight so that you can paint it and it, it'll adhere to the caulk and the paint very easily. And then these are optional. Um, this is a red LED flexible strip I got for about a dollar from China. Um, these are gonna go in here and create a demon eye effect um, to make the glass red. And then I have here a halo I got for $7. Now, I am going to get um, ones from AACstyle.com, um, automotiveconcepts.com. Um, uh, a lot higher quality. I just don't have them in yet. So for right now, these are going to be the mock-up ones. They're going to sit over top the uh, projector like this to give it a nice halo effect. And they're cool white, so um, they'll be bright enough to drive with. Okay? And then... Uh, you're going to need some goop. Um, any kind of epoxy or silicone will work. What this is going to do is it's going to hold the coupling and the projector in the back of the headlight shroud. Okay? And then the last thing you're going to need is a half-eaten donut so that you can get through the project. All right? Or if you're like your, my wife and, and you like to take bites before you actually do the project, you can do that too. All right, cool. Let's get started. All right. <clears throat> What I got here, obviously, I've taken my headlight apart so the front shroud and the back actual headlight bucket is, is off. Um, turn it around. You have your coupling here. This is what's going to house your, um, your projector. You're going to place it on top. Look at it from the front. Look at it from the back. Make sure that it's completely spaced properly and that if you're looking at where the OEM bulb goes, there's even spaces on either side, top, bottom, um, left and right. And then what you're going to do is take your Sharpie, I've actually already done this, but you're going to take your Sharpie, you're going to place your coupling over on top, you're going to mark the inside, once you know that it's completely set, you're just going to mark the inside, and then hold it in place, you can use hot glue or um, any kind of tape, whatever you want to use, and then go around the edges until you have an exact markup of where you're going to wind up dremeling out the center core of the headlight, okay? And then it's on to step three. All right, so what I have here is my headlight. I already marked out where I want my circle cut out. So you're just going to take your flat bit, um, your fat circular bit on the Dremel. Don't really know what it's called, but this is what it looks like, if you can get that pretty well. And then you're just going to score the edge all the way around until it falls out. Use eye protection. Alright, so now I've completely dremeled out the inside of the light and then um, I took a sanding bit and I just sanded the inside edges and kind of critiqued where um, fitment needed to be made. And now my projector shroud sits right in. And now we are looking more and more like an actual projector retrofit. Okay, now the step after this, pretty simple. I have three different grits of sandpaper. I have 600, 800, and 320, which I don't know where my 320 went. Actually, no, it's right here. 
What you're going to do is take your 320 grit sandpaper, you can wet or dry sand this, make sure to mask off the lighting sections, and you're just going to sand the entire inside of the headlight, and you're going to sand the outside portion only of the, um, the PVC uh, reducer, okay? This is going to prep them and prime them for paint, um, so they have better adhesion. It's also going to make better adhesion for the caulk and the adhesive that you put on this to, um, you know, bond it to the headlight. And then on to step five. Okay. So here's the next step. Um, I have my shrouds installed. I put masking tape around um, the fog light and the turn signal. And what I'm going to do now... I already sanded, as you can see, all the chrome off the inside of the headlight housing. And I also sanded the shrouds, the black PVC shrouds. And uh, we're going to hit them with a can of primer. And then, I uh, haven't chose the color yet. Um, what I'm really dealing with right now is how to fasten the projector to this shroud part. And then once I figure that out, I'll make uh, the next step.